okay guys you're welcome back again today we are simply going to be determining the focal length of a concave mirror practically and to achieve that we are going to be using a ray bus with um, a wire gauze attached to serve as our illuminated object and then we have our mirror holder here and then we have a concave mirror here and of course we would need a screen and a meter rule to get that done so i'm going to take you through how that you could be able to 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 get the focal length of a curved mirror now to do that first would have to find the approximate focal length of this curved mirror by focusing it from a distant object and then noting down the distance of the image formed on a screen from the mirror and then we could now go into the experiment itself so let me quickly find the approximate focal length then i'll come back to the ray bus so i'm going to use this my window pane as a window protector as my image as my object in this case so it's going to serve as my distant object so i'm focusing it on my screen here i want to find the approximate focal length you can see as i adjust the mirror on from my screen i want to get the point where i will get the sharpest image from so the the protector is formed at this particular point the image is clearer at this particular point so if i try to find out the exact value I have it as about 15 so it means that the foc approximate focal length of this particular mirror is at point 15 so i'm not going to go straight to the experiment using this approximate focal length um, in finding my accurate focal length of the concave mirror okay now having done that i'm going to take known values of u and find the distance of the image from the screen that you represents the object distance remember my object in this case is the wire gauze so i'm going to place the mirror at a certain distance from the wire gauze which is the object distance and find what will be my image distance that is the image formed on the screen so i'm going to be starting from number 20 so using u to be 20 um what will be the image distance on the screen so first of all you're going to form a sharp image find the position where a sharp image is formed and then uh, we'll record the distance formed from that image to the mirror so i uh, i've gotten the sharpest point where the image is formed and this is this on the screen this is the image formed on the screen so um and i have a meter here to measure the distance from the, the the mirror and that is at point 95 so the image distance is 95 centimeters so i'm going to be repeating that for four other values of you now i'm at 25 and i have my image formed here at the screen and the distance formed is at point 66 I continue the measurement the u at this point is 30 and and then the the v which is the distance of the image from the screen is 45 so as i begin to round up my u in this case is at point 35 and then here is my image formed and the distance of the image formed from the mirror is at point 37 so I have here u to be 40 and then my v to be 32 finally at point 45 I have my v which is the image formed to be at point 20 28 all right so this is what the final product is you can see um, the approximate focal length on top of the table and then u v inverse of u also calculated inverse of v also calculated and then you know that from the mirror formula 1 over f is equal to 1 over u 
plus 1 over v. So if you add both together, I could also find 1 over f also as part of the table. So if I plot a graph of 1 over u against 1 over v, I'm going to get something like this. So this is what it will give me. 1 over u against 1 over v is going to give me a negative graph. Okay. So the distance from here, the zero mark, to the intercept on the horizon, on the vertical axis is 1 over f, right? So, or you can also find it on the horizontal axis. So with this also, I could be able to calculate my focal length. So this intercept here is equivalent to 1 over f. So if I make f subject formula, I could also get f in this. Or secondly, I could find the average value of my 1 over f as you see it on the table. I could find the average value. The average value is, so the average value is this, adding everything together and dividing by their total. So if I get the average value, it gave me 0 0.0568. So meaning that for me to now find my f, I will just find the reciprocal and that will give me the value. So these are the two methods we can use in actually finding the focal length of um, a curved mirror. Okay, but this average value is more accurate compared to using the graph value because you're going to draw your slope line and in drawing your slope line, it's, it's possible that your line of best fit may not be very, very, very um, accurate. So that will also bring about a margin of error in deducing the focal length from the intercept on the graph. So using this for me is better because um, it will eliminate some certain degree of error in deducing the focal length. So finding the average and then you make F subject formula. So for my curved mirror, this is my value, 17.6 centimeters as the focal length. Now you can see that it is pretty much close to what we, I, I got earlier um, as my approximate focal length, which I recorded on top of the table as 15.0 cm. If the margin is too far, if the margin is, is, is very far from, the, from this approximate focal length, you know that um, something is actually wrong with your calculation. So I appreciate you for being around. Thanks for always being there for us. I'd like that you su subscribe to our channel so that um, whenever there is a beep, you could always get the alert.